Today we're going to continue talking about superglobals inside PHP, and for this episode, we're going to talk about a couple called POST and GET superglobals. Now, these two superglobals are used for many things inside PHP, and yes, you will be using these quite often when you code PHP code. Now, the basic idea behind POST and GET superglobals is that you can pass information into the URL and use it on another page. So to give you guys an example, I did actually create a very basic form down here, which you guys should know how to make by now, because you do actually need to be at least a bit capable of doing HTML code inside our PHP lessons here. So as you guys can see, my form is very basic. It has a input inside of it that has a couple of informations inside of it. For example, we have a type, which is hidden. We have a name, which is equal to name, and we have a value, which is equal to value. Now I also have a button down here, which is basically just a submit button that does something with this form when I press it. Now inside my form tag, you guys may see that I put something in here called a method. Now a method basically tells our submit button what to do with the information. Right now I set it to get, meaning that it's going to pass it into the URL and we can see it inside a URL. Now if I were to set this one as post, it's still gonna pass it into the URL, but we can't actually see the information inside the URL. So if I were to go back to my get method and click the button, it should tell us that name is equal to value. Now we could of course write anything in here we wanted to. I'm just gonna write name and value so we know what they are. So if we go into my website here and do actually pay attention to the URL up here when I do actually hit the button, because when I press it, it's gonna say, you know, the actual URL, question mark, name equal to value. So now that we have this information, you know, we could basically say that name is equal to Daniel instead. Let's actually go ahead and do that. That might make more sense. So I'm gonna say name is equal to Daniel when I hit this button, like so. Now we can actually take this information from the URL inside this page or in another page if we want to and use the information to say, oh, you know, the person who just typed his name in is Daniel. So this is the basic way we use post and get methods, you know, using actual forms like this, you know, to pass information with them. And you will be using these quite often because if you were to create something like, you know, a login system, you might want to type in your email or username and a password. And you need to be able to, you know, do this in order to actually use login systems. So to show you guys the post method, if I were to say post in here instead, like I said, it's gonna be hidden. So if I refresh my browser and actually go back to the previous page, you guys can see when I hit the button, it's not gonna tell us anything inside the URL. But just to show you guys that it's still up there, let's actually go ahead and go inside my PHP tags up here and actually echo out. And of course, this code I'm about to write, we're gonna talk about the next couple of episodes. For now, just go ahead and follow along on what I'm doing here. You don't actually have to write it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and say variable underscore post brackets. And inside the brackets, I'm gonna write the name of the name of the input. So in this case, it's name. So if I do actually echo out the name of the post method we just used inside the URL, you guys will see that we get Daniel because we're just echoing out the name inside the URL, which we can't see right now, but it's still there because Daniel does actually exist in here. Now, again, if I go back again and change this one to a get method again, just to show you guys, refresh. Let's actually go back to the previous one. There we go. If I were to actually hit the button, you can see name is equal to Daniel. And for some reason we get some error mistake here. Ah, okay, yeah, we do also need to change the, what do you call it, the method up here. So it has to be dollar sign underscore get, because we're changing it back to a get now. So when I refresh, we get Daniel, because name is equal to Daniel. So this is the basic way post and get methods work, and you might actually be able to see a purpose behind this, because a lot of the PHP stuff we do in these episodes you know, you don't really see the purpose behind it when you learn it the first time, but once you do actually get to use it, you might see the reason behind it. Now these are actually some you can actually see the reason behind, hopefully. So with this lesson in mind, we will actually soon be ready to, to actually start creating some cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.